Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. This video is prepared to show you how to fill up fat honesty declaration form for final assessment February 2021. So each of you, the students of AC110 and AC120 Faculty of Accountancy Tapa Campus, UITM Perak Branch, you have to fill up this form before the final assessment. And the copy of this form is to be submitted to your lecturer upon request. Alright, so I'm going to show you um, starting from uh, the first um, question which is the email address. So you make sure you provide a valid email address, okay, active email address because a response receipt will be sent to your email. Okay, and then from there, you have to uh, print as PDF and then to be submitted to your lecturer. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do is to fill up the email address. Alright, and then your name, make sure it is a full name. Okay, your student ID. Program code. Choose a correct one and also the part. Okay, let's say for example, I'm choosing part 5. If you are more than 5, okay, then you choose other. Okay, because in this form, then you have to state which part are you. Alright, okay, so let's proceed. Part 5, okay, next. Okay, so let's say for example, okay, I am a part 5 student and I'm taking... Uh, audit 339 okay i have registered for audit 339 ent 300 for 320 for 340 mkt 243 and tax 317 and unfortunately okay let's say for example here i repeat paper for 210 as well as for 270 if it is not listed here then you just click other and then specify here all right once you have satisfied and completed this uh, part then you may proceed to the next one so here you have to make a declaration and honesty declaration and you are required to read understand and check all boxes so you have to read one by one so let's read together. I declare on my honor that the attached work is entirely my own. I declare on my honor that I answer all questions on my own without copying and or cheating. I declare on my honor that I do not communicate with the other students throughout the final assessment period. And I understand that this disciplinary action, which may include the deduction of marks in my final assessment, will be taken against me if I am found to be an offender. Alright, then you have to check all boxes. If you did not check the box, okay, you are not able to proceed to submit. A copy of your responses will be emailed to the address you provided. So that's why it is important that you provide a valid and active email address. Alright, once you have finished, you click submit. And then you will receive a message. Thank you. Your response has been recorded. Please keep the response receipt. Check your email or inbox and print as PDF to be submitted to lecturer or lecturers upon a request. So you may edit your response. Okay, if you are not satisfied with something or you suddenly remember that you did not um, take okay, any course. Right, or you submit another response. Alright, so now let's check the email. Okay, so let's open the email account. Okay, so you may chat them here. All right. Okay, so once you receive the email, okay, from uh, the Google form, okay, so you have to wait uh, for a few minutes after that, okay, like for example here, okay, I just received a new one, alright, the latest one that I have filled up just now, okay, so check, alright, so in this form, in this email, 
okay uh that you will be provided a new link to edit the response if you are not satisfied with this one if you notice that you did not uh let's say for example take okay one of the course that you have taken this semester all right if you have satisfied then what you have to do is to print this out and save as pdf so you have many options here you click print all all right and then you have the option to print okay using a printer okay or microsoft print to pdf or save as pdf so this will be saved to your device and then you will have an option also to save to google drive all right so it depends on how you want to save your file is it to your cloud storage or is it to your device so i'm going to save into my device okay so i'm going to choose save as pdf all right and then save okay a new window will pop up and ask you to um to enter the file name all right and then to select the location so i'm selecting a desktop all right and then save all right so let's check the desktop okay so you can see here i have okay a pdf version of my um declaration form so when it is required by the lecturer to submit okay uh, in any platforms all right so you just follow the instruction and then you attach this fact honesty declaration pdf file all right so that's all uh, from me thank you